cracks and the fractures at the Böch Glacier in Blatten have increased sharply. And that's not all. The whole situation is getting worse significantly. Guys, you have to imagine this. This glacier has doubled its speed again. It's coming down towards the village of Blatten in Switzerland now with a speed of 33, 34 feet per day. That's 10 meters per day from five meters per day. So 16, 17 feet per day. This is not normal glacier movement as glaciers are moving. And the problem is now it's getting warmer and this is super, super critical. Here are all the latest updates that you need to know. And the question that I'm raising today is because of all this increase in pressure on the glacier and the increase in fracturing of the glacier that increases the risk that this whole thing might come down and it already is we already see ice avalanches in Birchbach. you see that here on the map so yesterday evening after 9 p.m the village of blatten has reported that further small rock falls have occurred during the day. Small rock falls is good because then it fractures in smaller pieces. So we don't have these big rocks rolling down like thunder towards the village, but everything that's coming down is basically caught on the glacier. So more weight on the glacier during the day. And in addition to that, several ice falls, how they call it, at the glacier front. And you see that illustration here. So there's two possibilities. Will the front break and come down towards Blatten or will the whole thing break and come down towards Blatten? So we already have these ice falls. They have triggered ice avalanches in that stream that they call the Birchbach. So far, thankfully, they have not reached the valley floor, but at the speed that this glacier front is moving, of course, it is even more destabilized by this. And Blatten had problems in the past just recently with flooding and debris and mud flows. So further ice falls are to be expected. That's what the municipality of Blatten has announced today. And since the glacier is so significantly faster than just 48 hours ago, it is getting dire. Will Blatten look like Schwanden? Schwanden is another village in Switzerland, in Glana Dorf. So they had a huge rockfall, mountain slide, and it's been basically destroyed. Over 46 people have lost their homes permanently and they're trying now to build a berm, a dam that's 6.5 meters high, trying to protect the village from further downfall. But look at this picture. This looks really, really dire. Still many people, oh, almost two years after that, can't get back to their homes. People have lost their work, their place of work. August 29th, 2023, in the evening, at a length of 400 meters, rock masses have gotten loose and have fallen down on Schwanden. And then there was a second landslide. So total 30,000 cubic meters of lahar material has basically covered homes. A year later, they had to tear down the majority of the houses. And there's still a lot of risk for future landslides. That's why they're building this berm. Will that help? Well, we will see, hopefully. Is that the future of Blatten? It's a very expensive feature. They're already saying this is one of the most expensive catastrophes in the whole Switzerland. So fresh this morning, the municipality of Blatten has released a written update and statement, and they're saying, quote, the feared collapse of the glacier did not occur last night, thankfully. Nevertheless, the, situa the situation remains unpredictable. 
And that's the problem, right? That's why nobody can get back to the village. They're further saying for the first time in days, the night was completely free of precipitation. The view was clear throughout and it was the warmest night in Blatten for a long time. That's a problem because then we have ice melting and the water is a lubricant for everything to come down. Um, they say the thermometer did not drop below four degrees Celsius. Well, it's up there. It's high up, right? Don't forget that. So they further say, while large rock falls have noticeably decreased and only occur sporadically, the glacier collapses have increased significantly. And if now not only a rock slide is coming down, now also it is mixed with ice blocks and the glacier, it's even worse. And it threatens to block the river there. And that could flood Latin again, addition, in addition to the existing problem with the mountain slide. So what they're saying is that the right-hand part of the glacier front was particularly active before midnight. They were watching it from a viewpoint, I guess from a camera that they have in the village of Blatten that is looking up to the glacier. And then shortly before 10 p.m., a major glacier collapse was registered. They're saying our cameras captured how a mass of ice, rock and water moved down the valley within a few minutes. However, the material did not reach the village. In the second half of the night, more breakoffs were detected along the entire width of the glacier front. Is this an indication that the glacier front will break off first? That will be the better solution because then not everything's coming down at once. They further say, Another indication of the increasing activity of the glacier is the meltwater, I just mentioned that, that flows from the glacier into the Birchbach. That's that stream that goes down there. And then finally flows into the Lonza. And this has now turned conspicuously brown. You see that the debris is coming down. So this is an indication, the color of the water that a larger quantities of bed load and fine material are being carried. So it is coming down. But the problem is it's simply not possible to say with any certainty what happens next at this site. Will the glacier continue to move at, as it is right now? Will it even double the speed again? It's getting warmer. It's spring, end of May. Will that generate more collapses at the front or will it slow down? I have my doubts about it slowing down. Will it collapse totally and create this massive, massive avalanche of ice and rocks and debris towards Blatten? Worst case scenario. At any time, and that's what they're making clear, we can see a larger failure on the rock slope, we can see a sudden increase on the load on the glacier, and that could change the behavior, the current behavior of the glacier significantly. Glacier is already cracking and coming down. Put more weight on it, that's bad. Blatten itself remains evacuated and there is intense monitoring of the site. And I have reported about that hotel yesterday where 10 employees are trapped. I want to make it clear, I have shown the maps in the video. This is not directly in Blatten. Blatten was evacuated, but the hotel wasn't because it was not in the direct danger zone. But now the road they can't use, they can't get out. And it seems a helicopter can't land there. So they're getting food and supplies through a helicopter. But that hotel is on a mountain slope surrounded by forest. So we will see how that unfolds. The people there are saying it's emotionally very, very stressful. 
I will have more footage available very, very soon about what's going on there. So guys, you should really subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you can, if you did like it. If you want to support the channel, check the links in the description. I have a buymeacoffee.com site. If you buy me a coffee, you can send me a message. You can send me a video message. I will reply with a 30 second, that's what they allowed, video message to everyone. You can reply back with a video message and then I can reply back. So we can really chat and see each other. I think that's a great way. So thanks for your support, guys. Stay safe. I see you very, very soon with another update. And in the meantime, if you want to know what happened, check out the videos in the end screen. I see you. Thanks. Bye-bye.